Now this, new emails off Hillary Clinton's email server show that she discussed an Iranian nuclear scientist who was then executed by Iran for alleged treason. All rise, Judge Andrew Napolitano is here. Judge, now, you know, people will make the point there's no correlation between her talking about this or this, this particular individual who's not mentioned by name right. ends up being executed for treason. But there's no doubt that his, it is definitely established that this individual is talked about back in 2010 on the private email server. It's a complex case, and yes. the following appears to be so. It appears as though he was a spy for American intelligence services, mm -hmm. and it appears as though the uh, American intelligence services, and I'm using that phrase intentionally because I don't know if it was the CIA or a military intelligence service, mm -hmm. paid him a huge amount of money. Yeah, millions and millions. Right, so that when we were negotiating with the Iranians over their nuclear capability, we knew what that capability was. Then, in order to hide the fact that he was a spy, he publicly claimed that he had been uh, arrested, detained, yes. beaten, and tortured by the CIA, the same people that presumably were part of the crew that recruited him as a spy. That was that, his story. That was, that was his story, and he pointed to some evidence to substantiate that, and he couldn't wait to get back to Iran. The Iranians did not fall for that. They tried him in secret. The appeal was in secret. The execution, of course, just two days ago yes. was in secret. Then it appears on the uh, uh, server, the FBI, on Mrs. Clinton's server, the FBI found these references to him. Mm -hmm. As you said, they referred to him as our friend. Yes. We do not know if the Iranians had this, because Secret uh, Director Comey, the FBI director, sort of spoke in a code in which he said <laughs> she, Mrs. Clinton, mm -hmm. used these non-secure servers to send information to people who lacked security clearances. We know who that is, right. said Blumenthal. Right. And these people, Mr. Blumenthal, were hacked. We also know that she used her non-secure mobile device when she was physically located within the territory of hostile governments. That could be Russia. I don't know that she was ever in Iran, but, this but she was, was close to Iran. Very vulnerable. It was yes. out there to be hacked and wouldn't have taken that much. So the question is this. Did the, here, here's the $64,000 no. question. Did the Iranian government use Mrs. Clinton's email in which she referred to this guy as our friend as evidence against him when it tried and convicted him for treason? We may never know that. But the point is, Senator Cotton, who pointed this out over the weekend, is quite correct. This is another example of the cavalier, in my view, criminal way in yeah. which Mrs. Clinton fails to retain the, the priority of state secrets. But the timeline here is interesting because this was around the time of 2010, nine days before this scientist returned to Iran. So the timing would suggest that, we, that, that this individual is the one that's being talked about. I don't think there's any question that this is the one being so talked about. So the question is, is the, whether Iran used this against him against in evidence, him. right. Can, can you imagine this? They use a hacked email of the Secretary of State of the United States in a treason prosecution against one of their senior scientists. It's How outrageous. could she explain that? And we always said that this, this vulnerability of her email server could very well end up killing someone. She has a lot of detractors in the intelligence community because of this. And some of them, some of them believe that some American intelligence agents lost her lives because of the cavalier way in which she failed to protect state secrets. We know now of the likely loss of this Iranian scientist's life. Incredible. Judge, thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it.